Wednesday the 9th of April 2015 and uh, I'm just departing Blacksall Youth Hostel in Suffolk uh, with the intention of walking around I think it's about 10 miles to Aldborough. I didn't intend filming this walk but I noticed it was uh, on the Saturday Walkers Club website as free walk 250 oh sorry 205 so um, I'm filming this on my mobile as I did back in the day uh, so let's see how we go it's a grey day sun could potentially pop through though quite mild perfect for walking very quiet village here but um, there is fibre optic I noticed with that cabinet over there lovely area the walk starts right outside the hostel this uh, restricted byway here uh, also alongside cycle route number 41 there no buses, there's a bus stop over there but that's uh, a service that you have to order up and as I say there's a fibre optic cabinet over there Aside from the youth hostel, this um, village has a very nice pub called the Ship Inn, which also provides accommodation and very good food. Didn't didn't notice this at the time, but the hostel has uh, solar power. Very good. Landscape on my left isn't particularly uh, enthralling, but that'll change very shortly plenty of gorse and underfoot it's quite soft as this route we're following is called the uh, Sandlins Walk I believe appropriately named as well I was up at Dunwich yesterday and Adder have been seen so you never know I didn't see one again but I might catch one today if I'm quiet though there's no sun out so as I say we're now into open country All I hear is bird song, lovely. And as I said, sandling. So having walked through an area of bracken, we're now coming into a gorse. And there's the old chiff chaff. Harbinger of Spring Reminds me of the New Forest in many ways First indication I've had so far that we're on the uh, Sandlins Walk Lots of birch, Scots pine, I think. Um, I've come out onto this little road now. Not sure if I'm actually following the instructions verbatim because I haven't got them with me. But uh, we're out on the, the cycle way again, the cycle route. So this is a quiet road, hopefully. So uh, two miles and 40 minutes later, you arrive at Snape Maltins, converted warehouses. Now very expensive uh, apartments and holiday cottages. Concerts go on here, primarily classical and opera, I believe. Roof is being repaired as I uh, speak. 
our onward journey though is the other side of the uh, Ald and as you can see there approximately 5.8 miles to Aldborough which is where I'm headed and the uh, sun's out now that building over there is dated 1884, which gives you some indication of the Victorian influence. We're going to be following something known as the Sailor's Path, which is mentioned down here. Of course it's all associated with uh, smuggling and getting goods back into the village. good on the old focus today because uh, clearly I'm using a mobile Snape Bridge clearly the tide is out at the moment this being a uh, estuarine territory Another information panel here about snake marshes and uh, the quite rare Setis warbler it seems frequents these parts so I might get to hear one of those. Once again the adder is mentioned, abundant apparently. So uh, as I've never seen one, let's think, keep fingers crossed and also possibly hear the cuckoo, you never know. back at the Maltins from uh, the Sailor's Path. Just seen a curlew, I believe. There are a sniper around here as well, so I might be mistaken. Another information panel here about life on the mud flats. Mentioning various birds that can be seen here. Red shank oyster catcher, dunlin, curlew and black tailed godwit. And I've just seen a reed bunting as well. Perfect territory. Now entering Snape Warren Nature Reserve. Onward journey now becomes more wooded. Five mile there to uh, Albra. Plenty of information panels around about. This one indicating that otters are in the area. Now I haven't actually seen a uh, sail sailor's path symbol, but I'm presuming it's this, duplicated by the Suffolk Coast Path. Information panel here about Warrening and Snape Warren. To do with uh, rabbits. You can see why. More open country at the moment. Another information panel here telling us about the development of heath and woodland. Wonderful. Lots of clearance work going on here at the moment. Well, not right at the moment, but there has been. Birch, once again, 
and I think the conifer might be larch, not sure. Certainly Scots pine in here. Some strange woodland architecture here. Could be air vents of some kind, I'm not sure. Or urns. There's another one close by. Very odd. Got lids on them, so that's interesting. This is Blackheath Wood we're presently walking through. Got a section of boardwalk walking here as we uh, come out of the Blackheath Wood. Could be very useful after times of heavy rain, I should think. Plenty of dikes down here. Good to cuckoo territory, but yet to hear one. Little lamb there. No one else around, so uh, not sure where the mother is. Not far away, I'm sure. Coming up to a busy road now, which I think we walked beside for a while. Views out to the estuary there on my right. We're on the outskirts of Albury now. Another information panel about the Sailor's Path, which is uh, now back in its sandy state. Four miles done to Snape Maltins, six in total, two more to go to Alborough. So as mentioned, a section of quite busy road walking. Alborough Golf Club, which is bisected by the road into Alborough, funnily enough. So as you can see from this latest info board, we're walking along a, a road now, all the way into Alborough. So here we are in Alborough. Well, I hope you can read that. 60 years of campaigner for women's suffrage. Millicent Garrett Fawcett. The Fawcett Society lived here. I presume this house here looks nice and grand. This is on the road into Alborough. Old House Drive. Parish Church of St Peter and St Paul. Aldborough. Okay, lunchtime. It's about 12.30. This is the better of the two fish and chip shops in uh, Aldborough, so I'm reliably told. And the queue would seem to confirm that. Two o'clock, back on the road, after that rather tasty fish supper. These are Aldborough marshes. Sure, if I shall venture out yonder because uh, my hips starting to ache. Done eight miles. Got a patch on it as well, but uh, it's in pretty bad nick today. We'll see. We're in a little area called Slaughter. There are a number of uh, what look like radio masts out there in the distance. Not sure if I can get them on this camera, but uh, no idea what they are other than what I suggested. Good, good nine, ten masts over there. Just doing a little 
tour of Aldborough Marshes. There is an option to add this onto the walk anyway, uh, which I'm doing. Last bus is around 5.45 today. I'll probably get the 5 o'clock one just to be safe. There are a number of options to walk around these marshes, none of which I would imagine would uh, probably take more than an hour to walk around the whole perimeter of these marshes and back into town. I'm going to be lazy today because of my uh, heavier than normal bag and slightly more painful than usual hip and cut back into town and await the uh, bus over a cup of coffee I think. Sounds like a good project to me. Curlew, Skylark, a number of other birds in the background but unfortunately no cuckoo. It's been pleasantly dry underfoot today incredibly so actually bearing in mind the amount of rain we've had uh, relatively recently and as can be evidenced by these dikes next to me amazing how the uh, ground absorbs it anyway it's been a lovely day so far so this is uh, Aldborough Beach South Lookout uh, I've walked about 10 miles so we're as good as done here it's rather hazy now so that's a uh, very pleasant walk a little bit uh, annoying towards the end the last couple of miles is road walking which never does help so that's free walk 205 completed makes a change for me first one I've done in a long time but there you go hips okay but uh, obviously not right let's see